Today's June 21st. It's finally summer here in the Pacific Northwest. The sun's out and I've decided to roll my 6.9 out and prep it for a paint job. And you know, while it's up in the air, I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you some of the unique features of this car. Considering the fact that it was built in 1978, you're going to be amazed at some of the things I show you. First off, you can tell it's a European model if you're familiar with Mercedes-Benz. It has the nice tight-fitting front bumpers, the European headlights, and even the headlight wipers. Also, this has European cloth interior and manual climate control. Man, I love the manual contro climate control on these 116s. But more importantly, it's the engine. It's a beast of an engine. I'm going to open this hood here and take you inside to show you what resides in this car. The first thing you notice when you open the hood of a 6.9 is the sheer size of that engine. It literally fills up the entire engine bay. It's amazing the engineers were able to squeak it into this chassis. Then you start looking around and you'll notice a few other things differently from your normal 450 SEL V8. Number one, look where you fill the engine oil. It's off here to the side. There's actually a dry sump tank mounted on the inside of the right front fender that holds the engine oil. And there's a lot of it in there, let me tell you. The other thing that's really unique about this car, in 1978, you look right over there, it has an ABS brake module. That's right, 1978 ABS brakes. And in front of that, that's the tank that holds the hydraulic fluid and the valving for the self-leveling suspension. And then just inboard of that, you can see the pump that drives the hydraulic struts. Now I'm going to take you underneath this front fender and show you the other really unique thing of a 6.9, and that's the way the suspension is built. Take a close look. If you've been around front suspensions before, you may notice there's something missing here. Yes, that's correct. There is no spring. In fact, there's no spring on either the front or the rear of this car. The suspension is leveled out with this hydraulic strut here. That hydraulic strut is like a ram. It's not a shock absorber. That ram sets the ride height, and then the softening effect is provided by five nitrogen uh, fill spheres that are mounted in this car that allow the hydraulic oil to move so that the car will ride smoothly. With this system operating properly and adjusted, it is amazing to drive this car. You, you feel like you're in a, in a very plush luxury car, but when you get on this thing and drive it hard, you hardly have any body roll in heavy turns. This 6.9 is a real kick to drive, and when I say kick, I really mean it. When you floor this thing, it'll push you back in the seat and keep you there right over 100 miles an hour. In 1978, it was the fastest production sedan produced in the world. But I have to warn you, this car is not for the faint of heart, and it's not for, for the mechanically challenged. You need to know how to work on one of these, and you need to know how to do your own maintenance to even to afford to own them, because they can be very expensive to work on and have repaired, particularly in a shop. I'm going to go ahead over the next few weeks and work on this body work. We're going to prep it all and send it into a, a paint shop for a silver respray. And when I get it back, I'm going to take you on a road trip and you're going to enjoy how this car can handle.